Hello everybody, today I'm going to present the solution for problem D, expression evaluation error from the code for this round 742, the round I tested. So in this problem we have two integers and an S and we need to print an integers which add up to S and we need to print uh, the integers in such a way that if we add them up in base 11, this sum will be as big as possible according to the base 11. And uh, the S is pretty big, but N is rather small. So this leads us to using a lot of approaches which can work in order to solve this problem. So I decided to present my approach, which I found it pretty simple, uh, to also explain why it works and why it's useful to think problems like that. So let's begin. In order to present this approach, I decided to get to have an example different from the ones in the problem statement. So the example I'm going to use is 374 and six numbers. And I'm going to explain how do I create the answer and then the algorithm. So I'm starting from the most significant digit, which is three. So we have 300. And we are going to fill the numbers from the array left to right. And whenever I am done with filling uh, the array once, I start from the beginning again. So after the first step, I have 100 three times and zeros. So again, we fill the 300s. Then uh, we have 70. And we have six numbers. So this means that we will fill this number twice. So it will be 20. And all of the other ones will be filled once. So 110. Three times. 20 and two times. Then we have filled 70. And we are only left with four. And we are going to start from where we left. Which is this 10. And we are going to make those four numbers 11. And the other ones will stay, uh, the other ones will stay like that too. So we have here 111, two times, 110, 20, and two 11s. And the reason why this algorithm works is because we want our array to have as many digits with a bigger value as possible, which will lead in turn to bigger digits in base 11 as well. Because unlike base 10, we need, let's say, 11 ones to get to the next tier. So we want our digits to be as big as possible in order to achieve as big of a sum as possible. And this is what I did in my implementation as well. At first I dealt with the special case when n is equal to 1. This was, unne this was unnecessary given the way my algorithm works, but I decided to have it here just in case. And then I created this vector and I used the algorithm described uh, by the problem statement. And I iterated over the digits and basically uh, used this in order to avoid both having too big of a numbers as well as like if we have a, a number which is too small, but we need to fill many numbers, we also want to fill ones at the end, just like I said we should avoid, but there are some cases where we can't really do anything about it because uh, n is too small compared to s. And at the end, we just print the array. And this is good enough. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, as well as like, as well as commenting if we have if you have any sort of feedback stay tuned and enjoy the other videos too